Hey all, this is Rajatasker. In Dragon's Dogma 2, there are 10 vocations. Each one of those vocations has a vocation meister that will be able to teach you powerful skills. This video is going to show you where the vocation meisters are and how to get them to give you their skills. First up is the warrior meister. First, you need to find him in his home. You need to visit him there when he's not training with the troops, so nighttime. This will start his quest, which will have you bringing him three swords and a recruit. And the recruit is here in Vernworth. Once you've done that, proceed along Baron's questline, which will have Baron forced to leave the outpost. Visit him in his home before he leaves, and then once he leaves, he'll head over to the Batali side of the border checkpoint town. He's a little down the road. Talk to him there, and he'll hand over the vocation skill. Now, the Thief Meister you can find in the Nameless Town. You go to this location as part of one of the main quests that Captain Brandt can give you. This one is to investigate the False Sovereign's hometown. Getting the skill and completing the quest have the same conditions. When you arrive, you can head to the manor and talk to the False Meister, which will give you a skill, and then circle around the back of the manor, head down through here, and then go through the obstacle course, which will lead you to a secret room where the true Thief Meister is, and he will give you the Meister skill. The Fighter Meister is Leonard, which you meet early in Melv. In order to get his skill, once you get to Vernworth, do one main story quest, and then return to Melv. This will trigger a dragon to attack the town. Once you fight it off, speak to Leonard, and he will give you the Fighter Vocation skill. The Archer skill is part of the Elf questline. First, talk to the elf that's near the weapon store in Vernworth. He wants a bow, so buy one and give it to him. He'll then ask you to meet him where he practices shooting. Change your vocation to archer, meet him there, fire an arrow at one of the targets, and then return to Vernworth. You can change your vocation back at this point. The elf will be in the same area, and this time he asks you to come with him to the elf village. Go with him to the village, and there you'll find out that his sister was kidnapped by an ogre. Proceed along the quest, save the sister from the ogre, and then speak to the elf's father, and he will give you the vocation skill. Now for the sorcerer and mage skills, these are actually the most complicated ones, and they're basically the same, so I'll have to do them together. The sorcerer meister is in the border checkpoint town. In order to meet with him, you need to wear fancy clothing, so the courtly chest piece and waist piece. You can buy them at the armor in Vermont, or you can find them lying around in the noble area in Vermont, just by going through their houses. Wear that equipment, go up to his house and talk to him, and he'll give you a quest to get him five books. And here are their locations. One of the books is in Melv. It's sold by a trader that's just standing around wearing a backpack. Purchase that book off of him, and then take it to the checkpoint to get counterfeited. Then take the counterfeit copy to the thieves' town. In this house, there's a woman that will trade you another one of the books for the first book. But you need the first book, so you're going to give her a counterfeit version. One of the books is in the sorcerer's house. In order to get it, you have to jump up into his study through the balcony. The fourth book is in the ancient battlefield area here. You have to proceed through the dungeon and grab the book from this location. Finally, to get the last book, you'll have to do a couple of other quests. One of the main quests that Captain Brandt has you do is to free the Magistrate. In order to free the Magistrate, you need to have found a library next to the Gracious Hand building. To do that, you need to give donations to Kendrick. Give him enough donations so that he asks you to find the Orphan Boy. Once he does that, talk to the other orphan children around, and they'll tell you some information. Go back to talk to Kendrick once you have that information, and he'll open up the entrance to an underground space. Down there you'll find a large library. Once you've found the library, you can free the magistrate from his jail cell, and he'll agree to go with you and spend his time in that library. Then visit him in the library while you have the quest for the books active, and he will just give it to you. Now that you have all five books, counterfeit all of them and give the sorcerer the counterfeit versions because you'll need those same books for the mage quest. To get the mage skill, you'll need to go north of Baron's house here. This is also north of the outpost area that you start the game in. 
talk to the little girl here at noon when there's nobody else in the house, and she'll ask you for those same books. Give the books to her and then leave and come back after some time. And when you get there, she'll have lost control of her magic and will cast powerful spells over and over. Once she does that for a bit, she'll run out of breath. When she's out of breath, grab her and pin her down and that will end the situation. Doing this quest and talking to the little girl and her grandmother will give you a second sorcerer skill and the mage vocation skill. Now as for the trickster, all you need to do is, having had the vocation, find her real body, which is above, you go up this ladder, head to the front of the area, and she'll be right here. Talk to her and she'll give you the trickster scroll. For the Mystic Spear Hand, there will be a point in the main story quest where you're tasked with finding a bunch of dragon material to give to a researcher. The researcher will tell you that the oracle knows about dragons. If you go to the oracle, the trickster, and ask her about it, she'll tell you the location of a lesser dragon. Head over to the lesser dragon and when you find it, you'll find the Mystic Spear Hand doing battle with it already. Kill the dragon here, and the Mystic Spear Hand will give you his vocation skill. As for the Magic Archer, that one is the same as unlocking the class in the first place. You head to the Volcanic Island, south of Batal, go through this dungeon, and when you come out from the other side, you'll see a dwarf. This dwarf wants three curative herbs, give it to him, and then meet him later at his house. His house is very nearby, located here. Talking to him and his wife will have you take the dwarf from the house to the hot spring area. Once you've successfully brought him there, the wife will be pleased with you and will give you the Magic Archer vocation, and also provide you with the scroll if you talk to her again. The final one is the Warfarer. The Warfarer is located next to the Hot Springs. You get his vocation just by talking to him, but his vocation has no skills except for his Meister skill. In order to get the Meister skill, you need to bring him a bunch of Newt liquor. You can find this in Batal. First, you'll need to go to the checkpoint rest area, go to the counterfeiter, and buy a Beastron mask from him. Then go to Batal and go over to Higgs Tavern. Outside of the tavern, there's a large pile of burlap sacks. Pick those up, bring them into this little fenced area, drop them off there, and you'll be taken inside, and this will unlock the ability to purchase Newt Liquor. Buy all three of them, take them to Lamond, and this will unlock the one Warfarer skill, which you'll need to make the class work. You can have the vocation, but because it has no skills, and its only unique skill is to switch the weapons that you're holding. Having the vocation won't do you any good without it. The Warfarer is the last one. Those are all of the vocations. Alright, that's the end of this video. As always, thank you very much for watching.